Hi guys, welcome back. Sim UK here. We're going to uh, progress with the tutorials. Pretty much straight from where we left off. All rested up and ready for the Caribbean economy? Oh yes. Let's go. First, select your convoy in the harbor of Port Royal. Is that clear? Check the hold of your convoy to see what you just loaded. We'll need it later. A lot of beer. <laughs> beer is important. Does yes. not make you as drunk as rum and not as sick as spoiled water. Now open the town dialogue of Port Royal. To do so, select the whole town from a greater distance, or, if the camera is close by, the town hall or undeveloped areas. Here you can see the inhabitants who live here and have to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. About one quarter of them are workers. Some of what they produce can be traded with other towns. Okay. Below you can see which cultivation and mining commodities can be produced in the town and how efficient such a production would be. Cool. Handicrafts, such as clothing, can be produced equally well in all towns. Oh dear. Um, handicrafts, such as clothing, can be produced equally well in all towns. Okay. People always ask for all commodities, and the variety of commodities affects the satisfaction. In small settlements, however, simple commodities are more important. If the town grows, the inhabitants become more demanding, and the upscale commodities becomes more important. Okay. Now switch to the production tab to see the production of the town. Each town can produce a maximum of seven different commodities. Here you can see what is produced in Port Royal per nice. day. This is much more than the inhabitants themselves need. The surplus can then be traded with other towns. Your businesses will be here later. Cool. Nice. Now switch to the trade between town and convoy tab to see the commodities on the town's market. Here you can see all commodities that are available sorted by their importance for the inhabitants. Oh, the that's first handy. column shows the fill level of a commodity. This is the ratio of supply to demand. From two green bars on, a commodity is no longer scarce. From four bars on, it is in abundance. Okay, good stuff. We don't appear to have an abundance of anything, which is fine. We've got quite a few sailors as well, that's handy. Uh, yeah. Here you can see how many commodities are in stock at the market of the town and in the selected convoy. The convoy must of course be anchored in the harbor of the same town. By buying and selling, you move commodities between the town and the convoy. Cool. Here you can see what the town produces and consumes. This includes commodities that serve as raw material for other products. Compare stock and fill level. The longer the stock lasts, the more secure and satisfied the citizens feel. Understood. The price of a commodity changes constantly because it depends on supply and demand. The higher the fill level, the lower the price. For the beginning, you should remember, buy from two green bars, sell until two green bars. Why sell until two green bars? If I have a, a thousand grain units, and I sell all 1,000 and it goes up to four bars, why is that? I mean, obviously it would drop the price, but I've already made my profit, so... I've always thought it weird. I've got to say this. I've always thought it weird in games like this. That you turn up with your stuff, and you just sell it. Surely the people buying it must have some sort of input into how much they want to buy. I always find it odd that we get to dictate that. You will buy a thousand, or you will buy none at all. The last column shows the average price you paid for a commodity. 
Of course, you should always sell a commodity at a higher price. Yes. Take a look at the price of beer. The average price of your loaded commodities is lower than the current price in the town. People want beer, and you can give it to them. Oh, yeah. To do this, select the commodity and slowly move the amount from right to left. You can see how the stock and the fill level of the town increases and the price per unit decreases. Now sell your beer supply to the town and close the town dialogue. So this is a perfect example of what I just said. He said buy two bars, sell, oh hang on, that's the wrong thing, sell two bars. So if I sell two bars, I've still got half my beer stock. So what's the point? Oh, hang on, I just spotted that. In the bottom left, as you pass stuff over, right about... Yeah, it's when it hits two bars. Oh, actually, it's when it hits one bar. The price starts to drop. So if you want maximum, maximum profit, you should sell that much. And then the price remains at 181. Then you could wait a couple of days and then sell them some more at 181. But they're only consuming two a day, so <laughs> you'd have to wait quite a long time. But theoretically, that's that's the uh, the most cost-effective way of doing it. But I think we for the tutorial, for the purposes of the tutorial, we just need to sell the lot. Very nice. Now show what you have learned. There's an abundance of grain in Port Royal right now. Buy at least 100 barrels. At least 100 barrels. Okay. So will the same thing happen? Will this reduce the number? Yes, it will. And the price will go up. So let's buy as many as we can at the price that is cheap. 43 coins, that's it. Excellent. The commodities are on board. Now you need a destination. Nice I recommend Port-au-Prince, east of Port Royal. Set up your convoy there. Open the town dialogue and get a trade license. Then you sell the grain to the town. 10,000. Nice. Okay, so uh, this is how the trading commodity thing works. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I'm liking it a lot. And we got some nice looking ships there. Kind of looks a bit blurry, don't you think? I'm just wondering if there's like... Um, an options thing... What if I go, oh, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. graphics, 3D resolution, high, texture details, there's normal and there's low, really? Oh, interesting. There's graphics and then there's graphics detail. Uh, yes. Reflections, normal or low, high, normal or low. Okay, weird. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Clouds on. I was I I I was going to talk about um, change lighting conditions all times of day. Yes, clouds are on. Mini map is on. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Gamepad, so you can play with a gamepad, that's interesting. Um, animation during sea battle. Normal. Mouse scrolling. Okay. It still looks a little bit blurry to me. It's not that sharp. 
not like there's a problem with it. It's like they've intentionally made it that way, which is uh, a little interesting. All right, let's zoom all the way out. Speed up the uh, the speed at which we move. I don't know if you saw the first episode, but in the first episode, in the first tutorial, it explained that when you zoom the camera out, it speeds up your sailing speed, which I think is pretty cool, actually. I like the way they've done that. Stops me messing about with uh, having to speed up and slow down time, etc. No pirates yet, you may have noticed. Oh, wow. Now, I turned clouds on, but I don't see any. And also, where the hell's my boat? <laughs> oh, there's a little pink arrow. Excellent. Okay. So, let us sell some stuff. We have grain. Let's sell some grain. We want the price to be high. So we're going to pay 76 for the lot. Excellent. That was my Caribbean economy crash course. It's really very simple. Buy cheap and sell dear. And don't waste all the profits on drinks. You should now understand what the price of commodities depends on. In the beginning, you do the trading yourself. Later, you set up trade routes and leave the trading to your convoys. Of course, always to your specifications. Always. Well, that's pretty straightforward, pretty cool. Uh, let's go straight into convoy management. Let's do it. Let's do maybe a couple at each go. You want to sail comfortably over the sea and enjoy the wind and waves? Then you're in the wrong place. Nah. I want to teach you how to organize your convoys so that they yield more profit for you. And we'll start right away. Choose your convoy that anchors at Port Royal. Here you can see if the convoy has additional sailors. You can hire these via the trade dialogue if there are workers available in a town. Sailors are only needed by your combat vessels during naval battles. During naval battles? You don't need them to sail? You can sail a ship of this size alone. I mean, technically, sure, that might very well be possible. Hang on a minute. Zero crew. Who are these people there? It is quite pixelated, isn't it? not sharp. Hang on a minute. 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 Full screen. 1080p at 143 hertz. Hmm. Not as crisp as I would like it to be. I mean, that rock has more detail on it than that ship. It's all blurry and pixelated. It's so odd. But that's as sharp as a die. That's strange. Okay, no worries. Um, so, right. Um, do we need... The total number then? of cannons of the convoy is displayed here. Yes. A convoy can only fight in naval battles if it has combat vessels, because only these vessels have cannons. If there is a battle, the sailors of the convoy will be distributed among the combat vessels. Understood? Hang on. If there is a battle, the sailors of the convoy will be distributed among the combat vessels. So crew are not bound to a single ship. Is that what you're telling me? The total number of cannons of the convoy is displayed here. The convoy can only fight in naval battles if it has combat vessels, because only these vessels have cannons. If there is a battle, the sailors of the convoy will be distributed among the combat vessels. So they'll swap ships? Okay. 
Okay. You already know the different areas of a convoy. Select the area vessels. Here, you can see the vessels of your convoy. Bit it's damaged. important that you understand the difference between a vessel and a convoy. Even yes. if the convoy consists of only one vessel. Interesting. Okay. Hit me up. Suppose you buy a vessel in the shipyard. Mm -hmm. Then it will stay there until it belongs to a convoy. Yes. Only then it gets a crew and is put into the harbor. Understood. From that moment on, you can fill the vessel with commodities and put it to sea. Free vessels are something like dead capital. They are not operational, but they don't generate any costs. Okay. Two buildings in the town are important when it comes to vessels. The shipyard and the lighthouse. Let's first have a look at the shipyard in Port Royal. Select it to enter it. You have to zoom in close enough to the town, otherwise you won't be able to select individual buildings. In the okay. shipyard, you can repair, buy, and sell vessels. Yes. As you can see, the vessel in your convoy could use a little overhaul. Get it done. Great. While the repairs are being carried out, we look at the vessels the shipyard is currently offering for sale. To do so, select the next area in the shipyard. Larger shipyards sometimes offer used vessels for sale. These can come from bankrupt merchants, for example. This is a good opportunity for you to get a new vessel quickly and easily. Just buy the two vessels on offer. Absolutely identical. This military frigate needs command points. This applies to all vessels with cannons. They can only be included in convoys that have a captain. And people trained in this field do not grow on trees. Okay. So we're going to have to get a captain at some point, which I assume is going to be taking me in this direction. Oh, that's it. One command point. That's what that means. One captain. So you need to have at least one captain to... For that one ship. So if I had two of those, I would need two captains. Is that how it works? We'll find out. The current vessel sets the sails of neighboring vessels ablaze and thus will detain it until the end of the next round. Till the end of the next round. Really? That's how you're going to employ it. So I fire burning arrows, I burn the sails, and in the next round, they get them back. Really? Interesting. For the really big vessels, you have to prove that you are loyal to your nation and accumulate fame. Here represented by fame points. Oh. Your fame increases when you do things that our dear Viceroy particularly likes. More on this later in another lesson. Okay. Now look at the other parts of the shipyard. You can sell vessels which you don't need anymore and order the construction of vessels. However, this always takes a while and there must be enough building material available at the town's market before the shipyard can start the construction. So I would need to provide wood, ropes, cloth, 70,000 per day. That's not the price of the ship, that's the daily cost. Wow! And it's going to take 20 days. So we're looking at 1.4 million coins. Yo! Yikesies! Okay, so these get very expensive very quickly. To build new convoys or add new vessels to a convoy now, you need the lighthouse. Now close the shipyard and open the lighthouse of Port Royal. On the left side, your selected convoy is displayed. On the right side, you can see your free vessels, which are docked in the harbor. Just select a vessel to move it between the port and the convoy. If you have not selected a convoy that is anchored in the harbor, a new convoy will be displayed on the left side, which you can create with your vessels. Now close the lighthouse again. We have just talked about captains. 
Choose the captain's tab in your convoy. A convoy is ready to go, even without a captain. But a captain improves many characteristics and allows to carry armed vessels. Unfortunately, such captains are hard to find, and for each, you need a captain's license. You need a captain's license? You can get a captain's license from your viceroy, but more about this in a later lesson. Okay. If a captain applies to you, this will be displayed here. Now open the captain's dialogue. Here, you can see which captains are working for you, or who is applying as a captain. Every captain has other skills that will improve with time. Take a look at everything and then hire the captain. Take a look at everything. Well, I was taking a look at his bio, which popped up, uh, but it disappeared before I got finished reading it. And uh, it doesn't seem like you can bring it up again. Or oh, maybe if I close this. Oh, I can't because the game wants me to press that button. Um, okay, so I don't know. I don't know anything about this. His skills, he's an embarker, uh, close combat fighter. The capacity of the convoy is increased by 5%. Oh, that's good. Um, in boarding fights, the combat strength of crew is increased by 5%. After a naval battle, 30% of the convoy's damage will be repaired. Each vessel gets one additional maneuver point in naval battles. Wow, that, to me, in combat terms, this is the most important one. In, um, in shipping terms, it's probably this. We want to make more profit, we want to focus on this. Interesting. Those without a convoy, he's got two command points, that's cool. He's a level 1 captain, maximum level of 12. I wonder what that goes up to. Progress towards next level is 0%. Daily salary is 80 coins. Port of Spain is his hometown and he's 72% satisfied. Don't know what he's satisfied with, but hey. A captain doesn't work for free. So don't forget to assign him to a convoy after you hire him. Otherwise, you'll pay for doing nothing. Now assign the captain to your convoy. Very good. With the help of their command points, captains can lead armed vessels. The higher the level of a captain, the more command points he can use. And that concludes this lesson about vessels and convoys. See you soon. I feel like there's a lot more I need to learn there. Um, but I guess we've just skimmed gently over the surface. And um, we understand a few bits now. We know that we need captains and stuff. And if you saw the first video, the first tutorial, you'll know that we sort of went over a lot of stuff from the first one again in this tutorial uh, and the previous one as well. So I'm assuming that we're going to maintain that sort of level of interaction. And hopefully uh, this will all become crystal clear by the end of the tutorials and then Maybe I'll start a little Let's Play series because I find this quite interesting, this kind of thing. And uh, I used to like the old Port Royale, so it's nice to have it back. Thanks for watching, guys. Please join me again for the next one. Until then, take care. Goodbye for now.